God bless everybody. I want to thank God for everybody who's been watching my videos and checking me out. Uh, there's a video today. Man, I'm just sick of this stuff. I'm sick of this virus, all this other stuff that they're trying to plant fear on a lot of people. Uh, I just got some, uh, well, I was researching and I got a little bit of, of some information of people, why are so many people constantly getting positive uh, of the virus, but they're not having no symptoms. So when I was going through and they have a lot of videos, these are just one of the videos that I clearly picked out, but I'm just going to just play it up here for everybody to see for themselves that all this stuff is not 100% uh, always the virus. They always make it seem like everything is this virus. So we're gonna let the video speak for itself. I'm gonna go ahead and play it right up here. TikTok, the creator gets a COVID rapid test, dips it in soda, and then boom, fake COVID test result, which is, you know, at least 10 days off of school. Question is, does this really work? We're gonna verify. Our sources are the COVID test company LabCorp and Dr. Mark Lorch, a chemist and testing expert from the University of Hull in England. According to LabCorp, this faking of a COVID test can't be done to a PCR test. Those are the tests that take a couple of days to get a result, but the rapid tests. If you drop uh, some cola or orange juice or other actually acidic uh, beverages onto the lateral flow tests, you you get what looks like a positive result. Dr. Lorch says it's not because the beverage has COVID in it. The acid basically breaks the test, which makes the result look like a positive result. You can spot a fake positive because if you let the device dry out a little bit and then add the buffer solution that you get with the test back to the back to it, it washes away the fake positive. Line. Which brings us to how can parents and teachers prevent this from happening? Yeah, it's very simple. Watch the kids when they're doing it, okay? <laughs> yeah. So we can verify, yes, soda or juice can give a false positive on a rapid COVID test, but not a PCR test. Got that one positive. Yep. I've since had six negatives um, in all kind of tests that you don't even want to know about. I've been tested everywhere. Way. <laughs> Gail's experience comes after Good Morning America's Michael Strahan tested positive and is recovering at home. We know that you have noticed that Michael has not been with us here this week. He wanted us to let you know that he has tested positive for COVID. And there's important news in the battle against the virus. Johnson & Johnson revealed its new vaccine is 72% effective. It's less effective than the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines, which are up to 95% effective, but it's just one shot and does not need to be kept at very low temperatures. Coronavirus was extremely troubling, but from there he says he soon found out there was a problem with the testing. Went there morning, took about five minutes for the whole process, swiped. 24 hours later, you get the emailed results, find out, you know, you're positive for COVID-19. Last week, Chris Fett says he visited this Rite Aid location at 21 Mile Road and Romeo Plank for a drive up test for coronavirus. He says he left there feeling good about the experience until the next day when he got a result of testing positive. But some checking with health professionals and further follow up revealing another twist. They sent out another email asking you for your verification and then all of a sudden the results changed. And it said you're negative, test results were negative. Negative just as Chris's family had hoped, but still questions remained about how this could happen. Chris telling us a mistake with the test kits was the reason he was given. He's now sharing his story to encourage others to be thorough and to double check with a secondary doctor if you've had a similar situation. You got a wife and two kids at home and you know, I'm in healthcare and they're they're hearing that. Yeah, they were they were nervous. Chris says he is very grateful to be healthy. In the meantime, we have reached out to Rite Aid and are waiting to hear back. Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. So y'all see, guys, y'all see from the video, right? They say if you put it in different liquids, the test that they were using, that is always coming up with positive. Why is this stuff not being talked about? Why is this kind of stuff not being talked about? See, this is the kind of stuff that I be saying. This is exactly the kind of stuff I be talking about. They wanna they wanna they wanna divide us so bad. They want they want us to be divided. That's what the enemy is looking for. People's not bow, bowing down, taking taking a shot. So this is another way that they're trying to do things. And I I mean it seems like I'm getting calls or, or, or hearing a conversation that somebody is 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 got the virus. 
because they were tested positive. It just seemed like everywhere you look around, it's positive, positive, positive. Where's the negative? And this this stuff is not making no sense. And this is the kind of stuff people don't want you to to talk about or expose. Even the channel they they don't want you exposing other stuff. But I'm going to expose it because this is crazy. I mean, this is crazy. Not everything is the virus. You got swan the swan flu still going around. A regular flu, allergies. Uh, I mean, th th there's a lot of sickness out there on the land that's that's still going around to this day. But they act like this virus is the only thing that's swarming around here. They they literally act like the virus is the all. This is the only virus that's swinging around here. The only sickness that's polluting everybody. You can't do anything. Everything that look like it may lead to sickness, everything is 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 the virus. Everything is COVID. I'm just gonna say it because they gonna they gonna flag me anyway. But I don't care. Everything is COVID, and I don't understand that. This stuff, this this stuff, this stuff is really getting frustrating and irritating. And you have to dig deep into YouTube to go find this stuff. Y'all can go look it up. Y'all ain't got to take my words. Y'all can go search it up. How many false people are are falsely getting tested for for COVID nineteen when they really when they really don't have the COVID nineteen? I'm telling you, you guys can go look it up. There's a lot of videos where people are telling you. I just called a vi uh I don't think I put it up on here. I should have put it up on there. But it was talking about like four I can't think I can't I don't know if it was forty three thousand or forty six thousand people that that were that that, that that the test said that they were positive, but really they wasn't positive. You see what I mean? But this is the kind of stuff they won't tell news. They, they won't promote this stuff. All they want you to do is just bow down and take the vaccine. That's what they want you to do. That's all they want you to do. Man, this this stuff is this stuff here is just insane. It's crazy. Everything everything has became COVID. It's like they that made COVID famous. The name COVID is famous now in this world. But there's no name that's above uh, Jesus' name is above every name. That's what the Bible say. His name is above all names. And people are are, are fearing this stuff. Because this is how the enemy will play with your mind. First symptom you get, you'll start coughing just a little bit. You can start coughing just a little bit. And then you notice that it's starting to come up a little bit more. It's, it's, now you're coughing more frequently now. Or or your nose starting to get you know, stuffed up or whatever like that. And what's the first thing that hits your mind? Do I have COVID? Do I have COVID? Do I have COVID? I may need to go get tested. You you need to go get tested. You need You may have COVID. See, the enemy, he speaks that into your mind, and then you go and go take the test, and a, a majority of the time, they're going to say it's positive. But really, they're saying they saying positive because they want you to go take the vaccine. If y'all look at this stuff, it's deception. It, it, it's, it's, it's literally deceiving. That's how he grips everybody's minds. Little symptoms, little sickness symptoms that you get, he'll start polluting your mind because that's what the enemy starts. He starts in your mind. He'll tell you, you need to go get tests. You need to go do this. You may have this. You may have that. Or if you go look up on Google and say, what's the symptom of this sickness, sickness, sickness? You can't hardly see no flu. You can't see none of that. Everything is it's going to list everything of COVID. You can't find, you can't find no, you can't find any kind of sickness recommendation to, to get rid of this, whatever sickness you have or wherever you're feeling. Because everything is going to list is COVID. COVID is literally at the top of the list. Man, this stuff, this stuff is just, this stuff is just crazy. This stuff is really just crazy, and I'm letting everybody know not everything is COVID. No, am I saying COVID ain't real? No, I believe COVID is real, and I believe it is taking some people up out of here. But we have to know that there's still other stuff going on in the land. Everything is not COVID. They're just polluting your minds to get you to bow down and take the vaccine. That's what that's all about. They know a lot of people, just like you heard a guy, I don't know if y'all seen, I don't know if I put it in a clip or whatever, but a guy was saying, I, I, man, we need we need to push out this vaccine on everybody. For what? When the stuff ain't even helping us. And, and, and this is what God showed me. He showed me this a couple of days ago. He showed me he's doing the exposure. Because if you notice, 
people that are getting vaccinated that are or have the vaccine or whatever, the booster shot, whatever they get, they're getting more sick than the people that are unvaccinated. Right am I wrong? Let me know down in the comments. Have y'all noticed that? More people with, that's been vaccinated is getting sicker than more the, the ones that are unvaccinated. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just telling the truth. I'm just I'm just telling the truth. I'm just telling for what it is and how I see it. That's that's the honest God's truth. But they they want you they want you so badly to take this stuff. But when you take the stuff, it, it, it seems like it gets it, it almost seems like it attracts COVID to come to you. That's that's bas that's the only way I can possibly describe it. It's almost like it attracts COVID to come to you. I done heard a lot of people that have been vaccinated. They're constantly getting COVID back to back, back to back. But nobody on the news don't want to talk about this kind of stuff. Nobody want to say anything about this. I be trying to tell people, man. There's something in that, in, in that vaccine that they really don't want to tell us. There's something in it. And majority of, of a lot of people, every time I look around or, or have my ears to hear, Somebody is, is, is positive. I'm like, my Lord, where's the negative? It's literally everything COVID. They they got to look, this is how bad they got. They got to a point they said there's uh uh what did they say? That it was that that deer meat can have COVID. Then they then they started polluting coming out. This is some of the stuff I heard. And then they said fossil water could have COVID in it too. I said, now come on, man. Now this, this stuff, now, now, now this stuff is just getting out of hand. So next thing you know, you're gonna you're gonna hear that, that that there's COVID inside milk. Like 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 these folks, they they doing way too much, and all this is is for people to bow down and go and take the vaccine. That's what all this is all about. Because once you get there, because once 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 you go to the doctor and get the results, they say you're positive. Fear done gripped you right there. Fear done gripped you. And then possibly more, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure majority of the time, after you got tested and you meet up with the doctor, they'll tell you, I highly recommend you take the vaccine. See, the enemy is trying to find all types of ways to get folks to bow down to this vaccine. But don't be fooled. That's why y'all need to really watch this video and, and share it with everybody. Don't be fooled. They, the enemy is really trying to fool folks on this stuff to make us bow down. But see, I'm on it. I done caught up on everything that he's trying to do. That's what I'm saying, man. This stuff, this stuff is just crazy. Please, people, do not be deceived. Do not be the. Y'all just seen the video. The test that they use, they can put any kind of liquid on it, and then it comes up, uh, and it comes up positive. And that's not even the only video. There's a lot of videos. Type it in on YouTube. You'll find everything. You'll find all the evidence. I'm telling you. And I've been saying this for a couple of days. I wasn't going to say nothing, but I said, no, I got to make this video because this is crazy. Every time you look up, that's, a, that's another attack from the enemy to, to keep people divided. Everything in this world is already divided. But if he can keep the cause of division, that's that's the only way he gonna get whatever he's looking for. Whether divide a family, friends, whatever it is. Cause now you can't go over there because they was positive. Now you can't go here because they're positive. Or even yourself can't don't want to go up over there because they positive. And you don't even know that you wasted two weeks and wasn't really all you all you had was an allergy. But they said it was COVID. That's why when I hear some people, they say, they say I have COVID, but I don't feel it. Now, all I got is a, is a runny nose and all that stuff. You basically had allergies, but they put COVID in there to make you bow down and take that vaccine. That's what all this stuff is all about. And I'm just letting people know, don't be feared. When you when you got a, 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 a sniffy nose and, and a scratchy throat and stuff like that, man, you better get in prayer with God. Because now the enemy, he's going to come with fear. He's going to plant your mind with fear. The thinking that it's COVID. If anybody has been through all this stuff, when you first got sick or when you feel like you was getting sick, what came to your mind? You may have COVID. It may be the symptoms. Now you're looking up on Google and now you now you getting that fear pumped up in you. 
and then it's gonna be so you're gonna be so fearful to where you're gonna go and take the test and majority they're gonna say is you're positive now the enemy done gripped your mind be careful they say the enemy is crafty in the Bible and he is crafty this is a way that he's coming and you got to have the the spiritual eyes to see this stuff no this stuff is crazy so I'm just letting people know don't be this don't be don't be afraid or scared don't have no fear so when you have a fear when the enemy is telling you this and telling you that telling you this like majority of the time you can look at it and be like I know I don't got no COVID I know I ain't got it because why is the enemy coming with fear so it's something to really think about honestly when you feel that fear upon you and stuff like that, they talk about they give COVID and you feel that fear or whatever, it almost makes you want to think, do I really have, do I really have it? I got some people I know right now that, that, that has it and they, they ain't got no symptom. They out walking around, do what they want to do. But see, all this stuff is to divide people up and also to make people bow down to this stuff. That's what this is all about. So people just don't be fooled by this stuff. Don't do, please be not deceived or fooled by this stuff. So we, we got to we got to be on guard of what they're doing in this world and how they're trying to operate certain things. I mean, the, the way that they're doing this stuff, it, it just don't even make no type of sense. I mean, you almost don't need the spiritual eye to see this stuff. This stuff is just crazy. <laughs> this stuff is literally just crazy. They want everybody to, to bow down to this stuff. But if you really look at it, majority of people that, that's being vaccinated, they they have they having COVID symptoms back to back back to back back to back, but you don't hear that much from the unvaccinated people. They had to close NBA games, uh, uh, the Bulls team and all this other stuff. But they say the vaccine is the best thing that ever happened, and then they'll use this. Well, you may get it, but it'll just it'll just be small. But it's still COVID. You still got it. The Bible talks about all this stuff won't have no cure. That's why in this time we need to put our faith in, in Jesus Christ. That's what we need to put our faith in. And that's my job to lead y'all to Jesus Christ. Because that's all we're going to have. The way these days are going, that's all we're going to have. We can't count on what they doing and what they putting on, trying to get us to take this out. We can't count on that stuff. Because all that stuff is deception and is deceiving. And in, and in, in these days, we have to put our faith in God because that's the only one we're going to have. That's the, only, that's the only Savior we're going to have is Him by himself but as we exposing this stuff god is exposing it too and if people have an eye to look and look around and see what what the what, what god is doing he's basically exposing it he's letting you know look this 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 ain't working that's not that's not gonna work i'm the only one so I'm just I just I just urge and pray that people, you know, get their eyes back on God because like I said, this stuff is crazy. And like I said, they they want you, they really want you to fall for this stuff. They really want you to just 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 fall into it and just fall into their little traps. Like I said, once again, I'm gonna say it again. I'm not saying COVID is not real. I believe it is real. But any two times left and right, you hear people are positive, 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 positive. It's like, where is the negative? And for the video I just showed you, y'all just seen the video. It, 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 they literally just told you right there in the video. There many times they gave false positives with a, with a fake test or whatever like that. So it goes to show you, and I'm telling you, you can, you can search it up. Like I said again, you can search it up, and they'll show every single video that's talking about the same thing I'm talking about now. But none of those videos, none of those don't get public. Don't, no, nobody, if you really want to help somebody, won't you put that stuff out there? But they don't want to help nobody. They just want you to fall into their little traps. They're trying to lift up COVID more than Jesus Christ. But God's, but Jesus' name is above all names. COVID has to bow down to the name of Jesus. Everything on this earth, uh, under this earth, around the earth, Universe, everything has to has to obey uh, Jesus Christ. They have to bow down to that name, and that's what God is doing because God said His word. He's a jealous God. See the credit they put. A lot of people's putting credit all up in this vaccine, 
And God said, uh-uh, not happening. I'm the Savior. I'm the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So, I'm just saying, man, people, just please, people, please, I urge you, don't be deceived by this stuff. Uh, like I said, if you have a, like, little uh, sickness, regular sick, sickness symptoms or whatever like that, coughing a little bit like that, uh, just, 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 just stay in the Word of God. Stay in prayer. Cause when you meditate and stay in the Word of God, no evil things cannot come against you when you're in the presence of God. So, make sure you constantly put blessing oil upon you and pray over yourself. I even do it every day, day and night. I pray over myself. I anoint my head and pray over myself that I will be healed and that, that God, your protection is up over me. That's the way God wants to start doing this thing. That's how He wants us to start believing Him. That Lord, no matter what, you're going to protect me. And I know you will. But if you have a little symptoms or whatever like that, don't 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 let that enemy, when you when you feel that the enemy is uh, uh, putting that fear in you, he's, that means he's trying to get you to bow down and go and go take a test. And then you hear a positive and the next thing you know, they'll tell you get the vaccine and then you get the vaccine and now you a mess. Don't, don't, don't fall for the enemy's trick. You got a little something going on with your body, whatever like that, take it to God. And, and let God let God heal you. He's he's our he's our healer. He knows the body from inside and out. He knows the numbers of our hairs. He knows everything. So take it to God. Don't don't take it to to the hospital. Take it to God first. So, I just want to encourage somebody. Like I said, keep going after God. Stay in a place with God. Uh, no matter what you're going through, wherever, like like a sickness or whatever like that, it may, it may be a cold, it may be maybe allergies and all this other stuff. But don't 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 get don't let that don't let that fear get in your mind, because that's what the enemy is doing. He he gives us a little. I mean, certain symptoms come around, and in the moment we we feel it, we think we already in our mind. He already played in our minds and said that's COVID, that's COVID. Check that, because I believe that's COVID. That's how he plays our minds. And then if we fall into it, we all in a mess. So I, I urge people, don't fall into it. Do not fall into it. Uh, keep anointing your head. Keep praying for yourself. Yes, keep praying for yourself. You can pray for yourself. Or you need somebody to pray with you, uh, I'm more welcome. But make sure you stay in, in the word of God and stay in a place with God. Because no evil can come. Nothing can come in the presence of the Lord. That's 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 for sure. So I just want to let people know, like like I said, don't don't get fear. Don't get fear over this stuff. Do not get fear over this stuff. Put your trust in Jesus Christ. And I'm going to tell you, he going to protect you. He is going to protect you. That's why I tell everybody, pray about about everything and let God give you the answer. Because a lot of people, they're just falling bound down to this stuff. And now now they feel some type of way. I done heard a lot of people get this booster shot and all this stuff. And they and they have a crazy symptom to where it's almost gonna take them up out of here. See, that's what I'm saying, man. This stuff ain't no this stuff ain't no guarantee. So people, please don't be deceived. But I, I do thank everybody for watching my videos. Please like, like, share, and comment, subscribe. Uh, share this with a lot of people so they can wake up and so they can understand that not everything is COVID. Not everything is COVID. There's still other sickness out there in the land. We got to we got to stop all the stuff. All this stuff is just nothing but division. He's trying to cause division with the vaccine. He's trying to cause division with the with the with the COVID. Call vision with the you know the racist stuff that's up on this land. Everything if you look at it, everything is division. Family, that's another uh, form of division. And now there's another attack that he's trying to use to divide people. And we got to we got to call this stuff out for what it is. So, like I said, until next time, I love everybody. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure you share, like, comment, subscribe once again. And uh, we'll be back until next time. God bless you all.